Welcome back everybody. It's more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to play one of the DLC courses. Namrong Bay. Regular Tees Tornado oh Cups. It's a par four. We've repaired our custom clubs. Um, and we've got a bit of wind. So this should be a bit interesting with a bit of wind. Let's see what it does to my scoring. And again, the hazard on this course really is all the casual there. water. There's not a lot of the deep stuff, but there's a lot of stuff you have to hit out of and it kind of puts you at about 40% power but really opens up your margin for error so staying out of the water zones I think it's pretty critical so tornado cup so chipping is very much the um, the way forward here so let's see what we can do what you want to do is be at least pin high and give the um, the cup a chance to okay. grab your ball which I've sort of failed to do because I was a little bit long but it makes you putting really, really simple. So we get birdie. Makes a birdie. <laughs> so one under, and we've not played this as a nine or as a Hold as two. an eighteen. It's a par three. So two's a par three is a heck of a lot of wind here. So if we're gonna get the hole in one, we've got to kind of get position right. So six iron. Oh, missed the impact. Great shot. Oh wow, and the wind took it far further than I thought it would. What? I really need to figure the wind out, don't I? I should maybe make a video on wind. Because I made one on spin and suddenly I got better at it. Right, so, chip time. And lose 70 to 90, so we want to hit it about there. And with a bit of luck, the cup gets it. Yeah. It does make chipping considerably simpler. That wasn't a bad chip, all things considered. Oh, nice birdie. And we nice powered up our back door. Nice. It's a birdie birdie start, which is, you know, Ball bad. three. Four, five. Uh, three. Now, the first of hitting, hitting with faith. So, we're going to give it a power shot. Wind's going to bring it back a bit. So, let's go for about there. Got the impact. Go, go, go. Nice shot. Yeah, you can see it just moving right in the wind, but should be. Oh, nearly hit that tree. Nearly hit that tree. Should be all right, though. Yeah, 150 to go. And we're right down the middle of that. Um... Fair way shot. So, what's the eight iron? Five wind, pretty much a crosswind. This is going to be hard. So. At the backspin on it. Great shot. With a bit of luck, it comes in over the pin and gets yeah. grabbed. Oh, couldn't have been much closer. Couldn't have been much closer. But we get an eagle putt. Not to be ignored. But you can albatross that hole for sure. Nice eagle. Unofficial, of course. It's a four under. Par four to come. Four. Ah, again. Four. So this is all about how much of this water do you want to take on. Well, the answer is we're going to take it all on. Because we're an idiot. So we're going to give this the beans. Got the ultra top spin. Great. So we should get a nice skip off the water. And the question then is how far in do you go? Yeah, it's going to run out of the back. Okay, that's alright, that's alright. So 23 yards back. Bit of wind. Let's go nine iron. Let's see if we can yeah. get it close enough. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Ah, not quite. Not quite. So I have to settle for the birdie. But to be fair, that's albatrossable. Albatrossable. Is that a word? Albatrossable. So five under. Par four to come. Hold five. It's a par four. Wow. The wind's going to go across us. Yeah. So you can... Well, you can't really drive that green because you've got nowhere really to put it. So we'll put a bit of slice on it. We should at least get us to pitch on the fairway. I just don't think it's got the length yet. It'll straighten up there. But 32, 32 to go. We've got a shot of the pin. Into the wind. Huh. 
Hopefully he drops over the pin. Yeah, get in. Nice chipping, Eagle. And that's what you want to do, really, is just drop them on the pin. Wow. Eagle finish. So seven under, two Eagles so far. Hole six. Uh, six is all about how much of this corner do you want to cut. So you can play over to this green here. Um, but with the wind, I might play over here. Let's see if we can get it somewhere there. Nice shot. Bit of right hand sway on the club, which has probably helped us. Oh, we've landed in the right spot. Will it stay on though? It's quite crown. Yeah, you see the crown on the fairway? So you're always going to run off to Don't be fair. The gauge. But that's alright, 135 to go. Fair bit of wind. We're going to lose a bit on the. Um, so we'll go club up and lose a bit off the lie. Eight iron. Nice shot. Let's see where we end up. Oh, nearly dropped it in the water. However, this should be a pretty straightforward chip. Yeah. Oh, we've got a flag ball shot. A oh, rising shot, isn't it? As we hit the pin. So another eagle. That's nine under. Par three to come. Do I remember this? Oh, ah, yeah. This is on a three. this is on an elevated green, so a downwind, slightly uphill, elevated green. So again, this is all about getting the pace right and stopping it. I could watch this up. Better left hand sway, so the line's going to be off. But we're on the green. Right, I'll give us a putt. If nothing else. On the green for the birdie now. Pretty straightforward putt, to be fair. In the back. Nice. Well, to be fair, I'd have missed that. It's a ten under. Two holes left. Hole eight. It's a so eight. Four. Again, eight's all about the water. So what you really want to do is lay up onto there. You can't really drive. Well, I say you can't drive it. You could have a go. Try and get the water skip. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. We're in this to win it. Got the impact. You go. So if that... Oh, that's going to hit on the fairway, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. It's probably going to run into the water. No, not even there. Wow. <laughs> Held up quite a lot. So 33 to go. Approach wedge. Again, we just want to drop it down over the top. Good. Alright, I've got the backspin. We overhit it. Yeah, because we're only hitting it half power, you don't get all the spin. The spin improves the more the harder you're hitting the ball. Obviously, because it puts more RPM on the ball. But I'll take it. So, gets me to 11 with a hole to go. So, nice a par 4. Elevated T. And again, this is all about where do you want to land it. Now, luckily, the wind's in our favour here. And what we're trying to avoid is that bunker. Got the impact. Oh, excellent. Nice shot. It was right down the middle, wasn't a lot of sway on it, so we should land roughly where we wanted it. Oh, it's straightened up, it's going to be underwater. Ah, not great. However, we will get a drop. So, the birdie's at risk now. Again, approach wedge. Oh, got the ultra max spin. Not a lot of sway, so this might have a shot. This might have a chance. It needs to come back. We hit it pretty hard. Yeah. Wow, what's the end of where we were going to get the birdie there, wasn't it? And I got a bit lucky that the control held up. Yeah, straight down. Straight down. So 12 unders to finish. Birdies or better everywhere. I mean, clearly room for improvement. You know, two. 
you know, definitely get more there. I mean, there's lot, lots of lots more you could take out of this one. But we set a score, and that's what we were trying to do. New record. Reasonable impacts, reasonable foes, missed a few greens. Well, that's okay. Well, if you enjoyed that, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, please leave me a comment if you want to. Um,